Hello, it's been a while. Actually, we did the video on the Dell 8940 in June of 2021. So yeah, that was during the pandemic, good times. So that was almost three years ago. So this is an update to that video. I've had a fair amount of questions. I got a little bit of a cheat sheet here. Um, so that's my script, that's it. <laughs> so a quick review. So what we did is we got the stock cooler out of that Dell 8940. In my case, mine's an i9 with a RTX 3070 and it was really <laughs> not performing as well as it could with the stock cooler. And thanks to a lot of the information on the Dell community forums I went through and I made a video on this, uh, I got rid of the stock cooler and I put on a Noctua air cooler and I also uh, based on the information there, I added some additional fans. So I found a 3D printed bracket and I added a 3D, uh, I'm sorry, I added a fan to the front um, part of the case. And then the rear, uh, I put a much more powerful fan on the back. And then just for funsies, I put one on the bottom of the case blowing on the uh, GPU thinking that might help. And I gotta tell you, as I showed in the video, I got some immediate results. As a matter of fact, I can pull up on my second monitor here and show that all to you just as a refresher. So before, uh, the total score was 12,585, and you're not gonna see much different in the graphics because we didn't really do anything in the graphics card, but our CPU score stock was 9,671, and then after the addition of the fans and the better cooler, it went all the way to 11,999, and we got a total score of 13,026, and that was excellent. So I wasn't seeing the throttling that I was seeing previous, and I showed that with WinInfo, and I just wanted to give an update now that it's been a couple years. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey, welcome back. So first of all, welcome to my channel where nerdy is cool. My name is Paul. And if you've never seen my stuff before, but you find me interesting, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate that. So let's talk about the 8940 now that it's been a couple years. And uh, one of the things that I did is I went and I ran the 3D Mark test again. I actually, just before I started recording here, I ran it again because the only thing different in my computer since the last video is I upgraded to Windows 11. I figured, why not? And uh, the results, uh, like I said, just so I can have a graphic here, um, so my most recent score was 13026 and these numbers here. So the current test, and I have the screenshot here, is 1380 and the graphics score went to 13419. Maybe that's because of the newer drivers from NVIDIA and the GPU score was 11444. So really no big changes there at all. So yay, we're, we're still doing good performance. So I had some great questions uh, in the comment section uh, asking about the upgrade. And certainly I've, I've had a, a really good time answering your questions. I got a lot of private messages and I also uh, enjoyed uh, the feedback I got from people saying, hey, this really worked and I really appreciate it. Um, so let me uh, cover a couple of my little notes here. So firmware updates, has that messed up anything? No, however, anytime the Dell updater has prompted and said there's a firmware update, and it starts to do the update process, I pull the top of that cover off and I watch. And I make sure that when it boots up, the fan is running. Because who knows? I mean, I don't know what these firmware updates always do. So just me being super cautious, so far to date, no issues with firmware updates. Another question I kept on getting is, um, they asked about the graphics fan. You know, would you, you know is, is that worth doing? And I'll tell you in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have bothered with that third fan down there. I, it, I mean, it's a little case and any airflow, quite frankly, helps. You know, uh, those of you that have done this upgrade and felt the back of your computer and all that hot air coming out, it, it certainly can't hurt. But I, I probably, in hindsight, I wouldn't have done that. Definitely having the bigger exhaust fan is a huge help. Uh, definitely the better CPU cooler is an enormous help. And I think having the air cooler in the front, I mean, there's really not a grill where this can pull air from, but it's, it's gonna pull air from the sides of the case or whatever. So definitely, anyway, to stay on topic, uh, you know, if you were gonna just add the fan to the front, the back, and, and a new CPU cooler, that would be great. As far as the, the fan on the bottom blowing on the uh, GPU, I think the GPU takes care of itself, so, so that's fine. Uh, there were some questions about the M3 screws because they don't include the right size screws, I guess, with, I, I think some people use Arctic Fox, some people use the Noctua like I did. 
Um, but in, initially, just to make everything fit, you'd want to use uh, 30 millimeter long M3 screws. Uh, a lot of folks were trying to find ones without heads, and I was trying to explain in the video and in, in the comments that really, it's a hacksaw, just or the Dremel, just cut the head off, file it, make sure it's all good and clean, and, and, and use that. So that was the one area that I, I should have clarified a little bit better. There was a little confusion, but yeah, M3, 25 millimeter would do it, but I, I went with a little extra distance with the uh, 30 and just cut the head off. Uh, one of the other questions that was a very consistent question uh, in that was voltage regulator module VRM cooler. I saw at the time there were some you know uh, uh, comments in the comment section uh, of the Dell forum where people had found some, but I don't have them on mine. Uh, I didn't go looking for them. I don't know if they'd help. I don't know if they'd make any difference, to be honest with you. I think the biggest thing was getting this little aluminum puck off of there and getting a much better cooler and then adding airflow just to get that hot air uh, out of the case. So I have not tried the VRM cooler. If you have and if you've seen any difference, I'd be really, really curious. In the, uh, and if you can let me know in the comment section uh, if that's done a thing for you. So that's my short update, really. Like I said, I was a little concerned when I went from Windows 10 to Windows 11, uh, but so far, uh, knock on wood, it's done well. Um, I've got some video here. Uh, I ran the 3D Mark test and with the hardware info, and uh, I'm gonna share that on screen here right now. And you can see that uh, while this is running, you can uh, see the uh, hardware info screen here. And uh, you're gonna look at the uh, CPU core temps and you're gonna see that, you know, everything's staying, you know, uh, you know well under, you know, 70, 80, you know, whatever. Um, and compared to what it was doing before, you, know, you can compare, you know, in the previous video, uh, it was really, really way up there. And if you look a little bit higher here at the uh, clock speeds, uh, you're going to see that they're definitely, you know, they're staying up there. So we're not seeing the throttling and the reduction of the performance like we had before. So that's basically my update. So uh, the computer is running quite well. I mean, I, I don't go easy on it. I mean, it's running uh, Streamlabs. Uh, I also run SolidWorks 2023 on it. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a 3D printing guy, so I mean, I'm also running a lot of my uh, uh, slicers on here. I've got Cura, I've got Simplify 3D, uh, I got Orca Slicer on here, and I've had really no issues uh, whatsoever with the computer. So it's been a good update. I haven't seen it choke and wheeze and do things like that, so it's all good. So that's it for this time. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, if you want to see what I'm up to, here's my social media. I'm on Twitter, well, X, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, here on YouTube. And also, if you're not crazy about YouTube and their ads, you can also catch me on Odyssey. Links down below. So that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. Good luck upgrading your computers. And if you're 3D printing, remember, please print safe.